and uh, here to talk about transcriptive as well as a bunch of other stuff. Yep. Please welcome Jim Turney. We released transcriptive uh, in August of last year. Uh, it is a plugin for Premiere for the time being uh, that does automated transcriptions. Uh, uses AI to generate those transcriptions. And the great thing about that is it, let, it, it transcribes it very quickly. So you can get a 60 minute transcript in about 15 minutes. The accuracy is about 90 to 95%. Uh, so it's very accurate, especially with well-recorded well audio. Uh, so it does require a little bit of cleanup, but we have a lot of tools and stuff within Transcriptive to help you clean everything up very quickly. But once we released this, we found that the one thing that people were really interested in is search. Because you've got all of your dialogue as text. And so there's a lot of different ways within Transcriptive that you can search all that text. Uh, you can export it as markers, search and be the markers panel, export it to speech analysis, which is, if you remember in Premiere CS6, they had a transcription tool and that's where it saved that information. Um, and so you can search via the metadata pa panel, which is connected to the source panel, and you can search in Transcriptive itself. Um, and every word has time code, so as you click on the words, it will jump to that point in the sequence. Uh, so it's a very handy search tool. But all of these methods only search either one sequence or one clip. And so the next thing that we, next request that we got was, well, how do I search my entire project? And so with the 1.1 version that we're releasing uh, tomorrow, there's gonna be a beta of Power Search, at least that's what we're calling it for now. And this will search your entire project for metadata. So you can type in whatever you're looking for and it will return it as search results, giving you the time code, the clip or the sequence that it happens in and a few words around the search term so you have some context. Um, and so you can click on that and it'll open up whichever clip or whatever sequence uh, it appears in. So it's a really handy search tool and you just see the search results. Um, but then the other thing that we discovered was that editors don't want to clean the transcripts up. <laughs> We're like, we just built this whole nifty AI-based transcript thing and you guys don't want to clean it up. <laughs> All right, fine. So there's a couple ways to get around that. Uh, we're improving the import of existing transcripts. So if you get a transcript from Rev.com or TranscribeMe or whoever, uh, you can import that in. Uh, if they have timestamps, you'll still be able to get time code per word just as you would with the AI-generated transcripts. And so again, you can click on the words, it'll jump to that point in the sequence. Uh, it's all searchable, so you get all of that functionality. And then the other thing that we're doing is launching transcriptive.com, which is a web-based version of the panel that you saw in Premiere. And that will be happening around NEB timeframe. Uh, I'll be showing a brief demo of it here. We've got it kind of up and crawling along. Um, and the great thing about that is that if you have a producer or a client and you want them to edit the transcript, you can just send it out to them via the web app. They can log in via web browser, edit everything out, edit it, do paper edits, delete stuff, and then send that right back to you. Uh, and the nifty thing about that is, again, because every word has time code, if they've done a paper edit, you can automatically create a rough cut based on that transcript of what they send you. It'll just automatically populate the sequence. So there's lots of cool stuff. So let me uh, just dive into a short demo. And so just to give you an idea of how fast this works, we're going to try a live demo, which is not always the most recommended thing. <laughs> so this is a 90-second sales video. Uh, we can come up here to the transcriptive panel, click on transcribe. Uh, we'll select Speechmatix. Uh, we can use two different AI engines, either Speechmatix or IBM Watson's. Uh, Speechmatix is much more accurate. Uh, it's also a little bit more expensive at seven cents a minute. Um, 
but uh, if you're looking for accuracy, it's definitely the way to go. Uh, IBM is much cheaper, but it requires more cleanup. So we'll click continue, um, and what that's going to do is save out an audio file, upload that to the speech service, and then the speech service is going to transcribe that and then return that back to the transcriptive panel, at which point you'll have a full editor. Uh, transcriptive is basically a word processor for transcripts. Um, once we get the text back, uh, we can go in there and start editing it, making changes to it. We can set up speakers. Uh, you can also export out as a variety of different subtitle or caption formats. And there we go. So that took about 35 seconds uh, for a 90 second clip. And then once we have that, we can play this back. And we can see that they mentioned the company name, so we'll edit that. Again and keep playing. So it's all synced up to the video. So as you play along, the video will also play. As you click around on the, the words themselves, it'll jump to that point in the sequence. Um, so just a very easy way of dealing with transcripts within Premiere. Uh, then once you have that edited, uh, and there's also one of the things that we added in 1.1 is find and replace. Uh, so that's another thing that people have been asking for a lot, and uh, that's in 1.1. It's working great. Uh, you can export out as a variety of different formats, plain text, rich text format. If you want to hand a paper version off to somebody for a paper edit, you can save out as clip markers, sequence markers, and just a variety of different closed caption, open caption, subtitle formats. Uh, it does do different languages. Um, SpeechMax, especially, you can come in here and select what language you want. Um, it selects, it, they support up to 28, they support around 28 or more languages. Uh, there's really only a handful that are really accurate. Uh, English, you know, the, basically the big languages. So English, Spanish, French, German, uh, all those, Japanese, all those are going to be very accurate. As it starts to less used languages like Portuguese, Swedish, stuff like that, uh, it tends to be less accurate. But, um, but yeah, if you're doing the major languages, it, it works really well. And so, uh, so with transcriptive.com, we can export this out. We can switch over to a web browser, and we get the same functionality that we had in the panel. So we can click on here, start playing back. Maybe. And again, we can click this. Oops. Maybe. There we go. And we can again go back and start editing it. Uh, there's lots of ways to edit quickly. So say if we want to just add in some punctuation. We don't actually have to go into the edit mode. We can just hit a period. It'll add a period, capitalize the next letter. Uh, you can add in all sorts of punctuation like that. We can split lines. We can assign different speakers. So there's just lots of great ways of quickly editing a transcript and cleaning it up. <laughs>